Perseverance, it's more than a mantra for a Portage County teenager. We're going to introduce you to a high school senior about to embark on a journey intimidating for some sure, but as our Clay Lepard shows us, pales in comparison to what he's already done. When he's not in class, 18-year-old Philip Case makes a living putting the pieces back together. One wheel, chain, and gear at a time. We come up with a lot of uh, interesting solutions to problems. This bike shop mechanic doesn't mind the grease under his nails. It's far cleaner than the mess that was made a little more than a year ago. Now I get headaches a lot just from thinking about what happened. And A ski trip in Buffalo with a friend back in February of 2023 that turned into after hours sledding and ended when Philip crashed into this steel pole. 23 broken bones including his leg, back, and skull. Although you might not know it from looking at the helmet he was wearing that night. The uh, dent's a little disappointing. You'd think it would be bigger, but it saved my life. He spent weeks in the hospital. Much of it, he doesn't remember. That's pretty scary, thinking that I can go through a whole segment of my life and it's like it never happened. So what's a teenager to do after a traumatic brain injury? In Philip's case, it was more than just wheels that started spinning. It's been a dream of Phillips for years to do a cross-country bike ride. A trip planned before the crash. When the accident happened, he all he could talk about was the bike ride. I'm still going riding, right? That became a finish line of sorts for this avid biker. You kind of take a pause and you go, can he still do this? Motivation in the form of a ride spanning 4,300 miles across 11 states for a little more than two months. It's given him the courage to move forward. So I'm super grateful he's around to do this. I mean, it could have gone a whole other way. A ride to raise money for the Love Your Brain Foundation, a nonprofit that helps around 8,000 people a year dealing with traumatic brain injuries and the long-term effects they carry. After all of the visible injuries heal, it's a lifelong injury. It impacts the rest of your life and uh, nobody sees it because it's, it's internal. This upcoming trip isn't about a bike ride measured in miles or money raised. No, this ride is about trying to push past what he can't remember, but somehow won't forget. A reminder to others. I hope they have a... Uh... About what's possible. A deeper appreciation for their lives, for their children's lives, and an understanding of how easily it could all slip away. He's done so much already. He has come back from a really, really major injury, and there we go. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. In Jaga County, Layla Pard, News 5. <laughs> The two fathers on set here, be careful. Wow. Oh my gosh, be yeah, careful. Yeah, he's on the road with the cars. No, kid, just be careful. Uh, 4,300 miles. Philip scheduled to begin that trip in Virginia in June, wrapping up in Oregon in a little more than two months. To learn more about Philip's journey and how you can help out, maybe donate some money, head to news5cleveland.com. Look for this story. Wow, that is something. Holy cow.